You know, I feel like with choreography, it's, it's very hard because you need a lot of trial and error because accidents are what make ballet most beautiful. In literature and film, and you kind of have control over this little environment in the sense that you, you, are, you are the maker of the art form. You can edit the film the way you want it. You can color it the way you want it. But with dance, uh, you sort of, it's about communicating what you want to a dancer, and then that dancer is ultimately you know, at the mercy of their own bodies. And so then it's, it's about letting go. So then when an accident happens, in a sense that when, you know, maybe you told them to do a certain step, but then they did something completely different, but sort of instinctively beautiful of their own way. So then it's about taking that and then try to do a variation on that. And, you know, so it's a much more sort of, I would say collaborative kind of art form. These programs are wonderful because what they do is they allow for uh, Canadian creations. They, allowed f they allow choreographers to sort of have the resources, the full resources of the National Ballet of Canada. And you know, it's a very exciting time. So, you know, it's nothing in specific. They're sort of shorter ballets. And, um, and so it gets your imagination going in a different way.